writing. Some people already started writing their final draft, and some people are still working on their rough draft. They're finishing up their rough draft. So we're going to take some time next week to finish it up, and this will be your first writing sample. Okay? Here we have one finished product so far, Mr. Jordan Myers. All right. Wow, my weekend was amazing. Me and my mom went to Dave and Buster's. Does he have a hook? Yes. Yes, he used an exclamation. Does he have a setting? Yes. And did he mention who was in the story, the somebody? Yes. Perfect. When we got there, I had sunk his soda. Then, we ordered our food and we walked in and I saw games and we tasted the wings, buffalo, and we heard everyone was yelling happily. I felt so fantastic and it smelled good. My favorite game was the driving game, like Mario Kart, and the regular games too. Did he elaborate on his story? This day was so important because me and my mom were playing together and it made me So Jordan demonstrated the entire writing process. He brainstormed with the web, he did a rough draft, and then we worked on the final draft like you guys are doing right now. After you do that, one of your teachers is going to come around and we're going to track your writing. So we're going to put the sample under our September sample. We're going to have one writing sample a week. Please pay attention. So once a week, we're going to have a writing sample, and we're going to pull you one-on-one -on -one to talk about your writing. This week, we worked on a narrative, so he circled narrative, and then he put the title of his work, My Favorite Thing. We discussed the writing together, and we decided to write, I love how you describe the setting and feelings in the story. We also need a goal, though, because there's always room for growth, right? Our goal is to write a little smaller. That was his goal. And I told him he needs to use a little more elaboration. So he needed to slow down his story right here. Make sense? After that, we will talk about scoring. We're going to use the same rubric as last year, one through four. A four is top notch, perfect, right? A three is solid. You know what you're doing. A two is you're in the middle, you're getting there. And a one is we need support to build you, right? Jordan and I decided we're in the middle, OK? We have lots of room to grow, but he definitely showed the organization, the beginning, the middle, and the end. So come Monday in the morning, I'm gonna pull you in the back for a little bit, and I'm gonna conference with you while Ms. Bowles is doing the lesson. That way I'll, all of you get some time. So when you get here in writing, Ms. Bowles, can they start finishing their draft yes, instead of the, um, the first of their thing. awesome yes. warm-ups? Does that sound warm good? Yes. All right, so let's... Uh, if you have a final draft, how do you want to go about that? So do you want to keep it like archived somewhere so it's blue paper or in your binder? Hmm. They can go in their binder. Yeah. Put yeah. your, well, if I didn't give you a paper yet, I'll give it to you on Monday. But two or three of you already started your final draft. So put that in your binder somewhere safe. 